Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. I know this came out in May, but they just restocked it so I thought it'd be a good time to share and try this as I've purchased it and it's been sitting. Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. So obviously I have already shared my look with you. But let's go ahead and jump into the swatches in the palette itself. So I actually picked this up back in May, but it did sell out, and I believe they only just restocked it. So I thought it'd be a good time to do a first impressions with it. And yes, I have had it since May, and yes, it's been sitting around and I haven't used it yet. Please don't shame me. This is what it looks like. So it is mirrored, and it has like this really pretty art on the front. And one thing I really do like about this palette is that, um, like... It's two pieces like it's all magnetic so you could just kind of like slide it open like a sidekick <laughs> in a way like that or you can just take it apart and use the mirror while you do your makeup which is how I do my makeup later in the video but this is what the eyeshadows look like and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all the mattes for you and I'm gonna pull a Tati Westbrook and I'm gonna do it on my arm. So there are six mattes in this palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the first one right here. And that is going to be Mint Fever. And if I pronounce any of the next shades wrong, I apologize. The next one is Nuevo. And I will go ahead and have like the shade names on the screen. And then we got Peach Suju. And then chlorophyll, I think that's how, I think it's supposed to be chlorophyll. It's a beautiful chartreuse green. And then the shade Golden Age. I think we're getting to the point where we can't see them all. And then Earthling. So those are all the mattes swatched. Um, and then there are three shimmers or metallic shades. I think one of them is a duochrome. And the first one is Aloe Cove. And I'm going to go ahead and just swatch it on this arm. And then Stained Glass. Which is actually one of the shades I have on my eyes currently. And then Sun Gazer. So those are all nine shades swatched. So this palette is currently in stock, the whole collection is, and it is, Kaleidos is a cruelty free and vegan brand. My goodness, if I could talk, it'd be great. So this palette retails for $36, which is actually pretty well priced because I'm not gonna lie, the aesthetic of this palette kind of reminds me of Melt Cosmetics, and I had to pull out my Melt Cosmetics palettes earlier and be like, whoa, they're not the same, are they? And they're not. Like, it's kind of, you think at first, like, it looks like the 420 palette and the, not Smoke Sessions, what's the other one? No, it is. Uh, it does. So you would think it looks like Smoke Sessions and 420 kind of combined, but it, it isn't. It's just, like, the green kind of throws you off, and then, like, the yellowy greens kind of throw you think that they are those palettes but it also reminds me of melt because of the embossing on the shadows it's just it's funny because they have like little weed plants on the melt ones and these are look like just like two like a couple leaves now that we have done some swatches and a little background on the palette let's go ahead and rewind this a little bit and let me show you how i got to this look on my eyes I already applied my eyeshadow primer and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. I did purchase one from Kaleidos, but since this is a first impression, I don't want to use a primer I've never used before. And I just want to use one that I use constantly, which happens to be the ABH one. So the difficult task today for me is to try to not make things complicated for a first impressions look. I really want to dip into mint fever maybe stained glass, aloe cove, like kind of on this end of the palette, but at the same time I want to do this, so I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and start by putting the shade Mint Fever in my crease. I'm just going to use a, a fluffy brush right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my crease, and I'll probably end up cutting my crease because usually I do. Um, 
Let's see, I'm gonna try to build it up first. So I'm gonna kind of pat it on first because usually that's how I want my eyeshadows to be is pretty pigmented. Because blending it out, it looks like I'm not seeing any patchiness, but it quickly does fade. And I'm just going to keep patting that color on just so I can build it up and get that really nice mint tone that's in the palette. I'm going to clean that up with just a clean fluffy brush. Just kind of smooth out the edges so not so harsh. I still kind of want to build it up a little bit more. First impressions, it is kind of patchy just like right here. And I don't know if that's my eyelid or if it's the shadow. I'm trying to like clean it up. But it's like there's pigment everywhere on my eye except for right here. If you can see that. I know I can because I'm like staring at my eye. I'm going to go ahead and quickly cut the crease um, and just kind of like clean it up a little bit so that way we can dip into peach soju. All right, so now that I kind of cut out the shape for my eye, I wanna go ahead and pack the shade peach soju. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that is how I'm going to say it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it on where I cut it out all over the lid. Just keep packing it where I cut it out because then I'm gonna add shimmer. I'm trying to be simple, but yet not boring because I don't like having boring eyeshadow very often. I have to be, I don't know. I like to have bold looks, so. And since I have errands to run, I don't want it to be too much. packed on I don't know if it's because I don't know I feel like it looks much bolder Ooh. I feel like it looks bolder in the pan than it does on my eye but it could just be me we'll see what happens when I add a shimmer to it maybe I'll like like it a little bit more or maybe I just don't like how this look is turning out but I'm gonna keep pushing through I'm gonna go ahead and put my finger in the shade stained glass and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the center of my eyelid Let's have like a beautiful reflect though. Okay, this just makes things look so much better. Okay, now I'm starting to like it. I think I am going to go ahead and throw some liner lashes do the other side and see where we are after that. All right, so I really wanna finish up the eyes before I finish up my face. Um, I don't know if I'm just having a bad makeup day, but I'm not a fan of the eye look that I made. And it's kinda of just like put me off, if that makes any sense. But I'm gonna go ahead and push through and continue because you know I'm not gonna sit here and try to make the most perfect review because I'm upset with my eye look. Like, no. I want to go ahead and move on to the under eye, and I really want to play with chlorophyll. I think it's supposed to be. Um, it's this chartreuse green right here, and I really want to put it under my eye here, like halfway through, and then do the other half, the mint fever, that aqua color. To put that chartreuse color on, I'm going to go ahead and take like a really, um, it's like a flat, very densely packed shader brush. So that way I can really get in there to my inner corner. I feel like that's actually made me happier with the look I've created. Just because it's like so bright and bold. Maybe that's what the problem was is the other two shades look so much bolder in the palette and then putting them on my face, it's just not the same effect as I, I'm looking at. And maybe that's my problem. 
gonna apply mint fever on the outside of that just to kind of tie it all together. And really try to blow out my uh, bottom lash line. This bottom lash line is really making me change my opinion on my eye look for today. I think that chartreuse really just helped make things pop. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat what I did over here to this eye, finish up my face, put on some lipstick, and then tell you my first impressions of this palette. Let's go ahead and talk about my first impressions of this palette. Now this is about three hours after I applied this eyeshadow, and for first impressions, I'm not very impressed. I'm actually a little disappointed. Now I did apply this mint shade, mint fever on my eyes. I applied stained glass and peach sojo or suju. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I feel like when I put down the peach shade, it wasn't as bright and vibrant as it is in the pan. And I do, when I prime my eyes, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. It's the one I've been using probably for over a year now. And it does have like a white tone base to it. So usually it does make the colors more vibrant. And it was not in this case. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep trying this palette because it's a first impressions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try different primers with this eyeshadow and see if I can get a more vibrant look from it. I was really hoping that the shadows would have been as bold as they are in the pan on my eyes. And that could just me with high, could have been me with high hopes. And I don't want to sit here and give it a negative review. It's the first time I've ever used this brand. I hear great things about this brand and I really want to enjoy it. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh wow, really crappy first time using it. I'm not using it again. No, I'm going to try it again in about two weeks. I will let y'all know how I feel about this palette. But when I picked this palette up, I did pick up their eye primer. I picked up their Tone Activator Eye Primer. So I'm hoping maybe with this, I'm going to get a much more vibrant look. And if it doesn't work with the Tone Activator, I'm going to go ahead and try it with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in white. And maybe then I'll get a bold look. We're going to see. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to... I'm going to keep trying here. I've had this eyeshadow look on for about two, three hours. Actually, a little bit longer than that. What time is it? I've had it on for about five hours. And I feel like everything is just, like, really faded. I feel like the glitter I put on my eyelid is almost gone. Um, my inner corner... Actually, my inner corner was um, at... A, my inner corner was actually an about face highlighter, so that's still there. But if you look under my eyes, I applied that chartreuse color. It's almost completely gone. And, I mean, this teal is still here, but the pink on the outside of my eyes is gone. It It's just, and the teal is fading up here. It's fading really bad right here. I'm just not as impressed. And... Like, my face is still on, so it's just really disappointing that my eyeshadow didn't last as long as my base face. Usually, my base face will wear off first before my eyeshadow does. If you're curious what else I put on my face, I am going to go ahead and put it down in the description. But just to name a few products, my lips, I went ahead and put the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in You're No Good. It's this vibrant pink. Um, my blush is Jaclyn Hill. I just shared a video on my final thoughts of that collection. I absolutely loved it, but I'll put a card up here if you want to watch it. But I have her blushes on. And for my lashes, I do have the Kiss Me Now lashes in the style Luna. Obviously, these are empty, but she recently had these on sale. So I went ahead and picked up some more in that exact style. This is my favorites right now. So that is my first impressions of the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. Um, let me know down below if you picked it up, if you, what you've experienced with the palette. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I sh I'm supposed to be using this primer, but we'll go ahead and give it a go. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, so that way in two weeks time, you'll know my final thoughts on this palette. But until next time, bye y'all.